Hello everyone and thank you for visiting my blog iXL and so can you. In an effort to be unique from other how to excel videos I thought I'd try to show you something that I personally couldn't find already posted on YouTube and that is how to create an hour and minute glass uh, in Excel. Uh, due to some time constraints I can only show you how to do one at a time but uh, once you have the logic for one of these uh, glasses, uh, the other should come rather naturally. But in any case, I will later uh, provide you uh, with what I use to create the other. Um, if you haven't already uh, watched my first video, How to Create a Thermometer Gold Chart, I would strongly recommend you watch that first because a lot of the initial steps in creating these charts are the same. And I just can't uh, go recover old material, unfortunately. But uh, what this video will cover are the second minute today and now functions, not necessarily in that order. And also, I'll be providing the minute glass logic, and the hourglass will just have to wait until next time. Okay, let's go. So, uh, what you have to start out with is a base image of an hourglass. This image is actually available if you go to insert clip art in Excel 2010 at least. Go to about halfway and there it is. It's also a half full one. But uh, I think once you have that image you want to uh, remove the sand from it. Uh, I used paint and so Maybe you'd prefer just to take a screenshot of this image. Make sure to cut off the very tops and the very bottom of the picture. And it's your choice how wide you make it. Um, but uh, the next step is you want to have this chart or image so that you can then remove background from the in the format, remove background. And this is a little uh, tricky getting all of the uh, outline. Uh, especially the actual curvy part, but uh, I believe you can do it and I just don't have time to do it again uh, for this video. But uh, to the next thing you need to know, be familiar with, is the today and now function, which are very f similar to each other. Today gives you the day, or today, and look, see how uh, there's nothing entered into uh, here. You don't have to put any inputs, it just knows today, open, close parenthesis, they want the day. And the now does a similar thing, except it also provides the time, which is very important for this chart. Now, the other important functions you'll need to know is the second and minute function, which take a, a date or a, more specifically a time value entered and it grabs the second from that value, or minute from that value, or hour, but we're not using hours. But um, because today doesn't have a time associated with it, if you try doing the second of today, you'll just get zero, similarly with minute and hour. Now, uh, now on the other hand, if you take the equals second open, uh, now open close, close parenthesis, it will actually grab what the current second is as of the last time uh, the function was updated either by hitting enter, entering something, or the F9 key uh, also updates it. Okay, so that's all the uh, functions you need to know. Uh, in order to create the chart you need to break down the hourglass into basically six and maybe a half uh, sections uh, you have a cap, a top air section, which is the top portion where air is uh, filling the top of the hourglass, the sand, top sand, which is what should be you know, falling due to gravity. You have the area of the bottom half of the hourglass that hasn't yet been filled with sand from the top, and then you have the compiling uh, of sand at the very bottom, which sits on top of the base. And then all of this, just like the thermometer chart, needs to be encapsulated by uh, another secondary uh, uh, column, which in this case I call just the glass, which is this whole area, which will be the image. Okay. 
So uh, to get that, you just take uh, the sum of all of these other columns here, which right now doesn't have anything entered. Uh, I'm going to skip the cap in the base for now and go straight to top air field. Uh, this is going to be the amount of time, uh, number of seconds that I've uh, passed in the current minute. So just like I have here, it's going to be equals second in the using now. Okay, enter. And then top sand <clears throat> will be the amount of time that has yet to elapse. There are 60 seconds in a minute. So 60 minus uh, the field above gives me currently 8. And then once you have that, the rest is pretty easy. You just say top uh, the base air needs to be the same as top sand. And the base sand needs to be the same as top air. And if you think about it, it just makes sense that way. So we pretty much have everything. Now, to figure out capsand, just enter like a random value uh, for both. And then uh, you can go ahead and uh, create the chart like I have here. And what you'll notice uh, is with uh, what the function of the cap and the base is to prevent top air from going, uh, uh, starting from the very maximum and from uh, the base sand from starting from zero. And so you just need to shrink, play with these a little bit uh, until you uh, basically just barely don't see uh, that category anymore. Uh, 18, so I've already done this and for my chart uh, that means this needs to be 12, and the bottom part needs to be 11. And see if I make this any larger, that other the base starts uh, showing up uh, above uh, the chart. So I'm going to drop that down to 11 again. Okay, so 12 and 11 is what we need. Whoops. 12 and 11. Okay. And then the next step that we'll be doing is uh, modifying. Well, what we want is the percent that this portion represents of the top half. So that's going to be equals uh, this value divided by the sum of the first three values and I'm actually going to lock these for a while and I'm going to paste it into the next three uh, paste formula okay uh, but for this part for base air instead of using the top three I'm going to move on to the next uh, three. Lock that down. Copy it. And paste formula again. <clears throat> okay. So when, one thing you should notice is that the, these first three amount to 100%. And these three amount to 100%. Also, keep in mind that the cap and base are a fixed amount, while the others in between are going to be fluctuating uh, continuously and that uh, the sum of these two which for me is 83 uh, percent is going to be the same every t even though it fluctuates and this is going to be 85 percent okay so just something interesting but now we have uh, all the data we need for the minute glass so I'm going to select my labels, and I'm also going to select uh, the data numbers, and I'm going to insert column chart. Now, unlike the thermometer, we're going to go to a stacked column chart, 
using 2D because 3D is lame. Uh, anyone who tells you otherwise is lying. Uh, I'm going to switch the row and column just like I did before. And I'm going to take glass and I'm going to format data series, uh, secondary data series, close that. Okay, now the glass is covering everything. I need uh, to paste over it my uh, hourglass image. Okay, now one thing you might notice uh, that is wrong about this chart uh, when you first do this uh, in this order. Uh, everything is upside down. The base is above here, base sand is floating, and the top air is uh, sitting at the bottom. So we need to flip everything. We're going to select our chart, design, select data, okay, and then we just have everything in this list is ordered the way we had it in the table, but now we have to flip everything. So I'm going to start from the bottom, I'm going to take the base, and the base is going to go all the way to the top of the list. The base sand is going to be second from the top. Base air. Top sand. Uh, top air. Okay, and it doesn't matter where you put the glass. It can be, at the it can be anywhere because it's a secondary series. And then the other change I'm going to, or that'll be good for now. So now you can see, now it's uh, top air, top sand, base air, base sand. And the cap and base are hidden behind everything else. Now I need to change the color. I'm going to select the chart. I can only select glass right now, so I need to uh, hit the down arrow until I can find... It doesn't matter what color this is, but of course this needs to change color. Going to Format, Fill, uh, whatever you think looks most glass-like. Okay. Uh, for the sand, what I use is the texture, and then it's right here. Okay. And then this is going to be air again, and this is going to be sand. All right. And the last thing you might want to add is what you don't really... So once you have this, you don't need uh, the legend anymore. And you don't need the secondary axis, and you don't need the primary vertical axis. If you want to have it labeled, you might not want this 1, because what does the 1 stand for? Uh, what you will want to enter... is just somewhere put minute class and don't put an equal sign or it'll mess up. Um, go back to the select data and for the horizontal category axis labels you just want to select that. Now we have the minute glass. There we go. We have our uh, minute glass and soon I will show you uh, what additions you have to make in order to create an hourglass. If I went too fast in this video, I apologize. I uh, don't really have much editing software, so I need to keep my videos as uh, short and sweet as possible in order to stay under this YouTube 15-minute policy. Uh, but thank you for watching this. If you have any questions, I will be happy to answer them. Just post them in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, goodbye.